how what's up guys so today we're going to continue our inventory system and i'm going to teach you how to create a simple slot system so that we can uh, select the items based on a slot position okay so let's begin first things we need is go to our inventory component that we created before um over here on variables we're going to create a new one called slots this is going to be a name and we're going to change this to array okay so this way we'll be able to keep track of the items that are on a specific position of the array and this way we will be able to render them later on widgets okay um, the next thing we're going to do is create uh, some macros so that we can handle uh, arrays on an abstract way so here we're going to create a new one and called fill now this one essentially will fill up this array with empty values so slot 0 1 2 and 3 uh, and then we can uh, assign a specific item to each slot okay now here we're going to say branch and we're going to connect this here so that we can create this execution pin on this one we're going to add a new property which will be an array this will be a wildcard okay and here it will be an array now uh, wildcards only exist within macros okay and essentially they represent an abstract value so they have no type uh, that means that I can uh, pass to this macro an array of names, an array of integers, and it doesn't really matter. And this way I can perform generic operations on arrays and I don't need to have a specific type for it, okay? Now, from here, we're going to say is empty to check if the array is empty and we're going to connect this over there, okay? Now, here we're going to say for loop, this one. And essentially, we are going to fill up this array with a specific size. So here on inputs, we're going to add a new property and call it size. This is going to be an integer. And uh, we can change this to single. Okay. Now, uh, from here, we're going to say subtract. And we're going to subtract one from the size. And the reason for that is because arrays start at index zero. So if we said that uh, we wanted five slots, uh, this wouldn't work well, okay? So here we're going to connect this to the last index over here. And now we're going to grab the array and say add. And we're going to add an empty item to the array, okay? So this way we can fill up the slots with empty values and then we can assign the items that we want to it, okay? We can grab the outputs and move it over here. So if this is completed, we can... Uh, complete the operation and here if the array is not empty we also want to complete the operation now um, we can compile and save and here we're going to create another macro called um, bind and essentially this will uh, be the macro that will assign a specific item to a specific slot so here we can say branch and connect this here so that we can create the execution pin this will also receive an array which will be a wildcard and will be an array um, now from here we're going to say find and we're going to find an empty item so an empty position to place our item okay now uh, here we can say uh, not equal to minus one because if we don't find the item this will return minus one okay so here we can connect to the branch um now uh from this array we're going to say set array element and connect this over here and the index will be the index that we found and the item will come from the function inputs so this way we can bind an item to a position on the array okay um, here we can grab the outputs, we can connect this over here, <clears throat> we can add a new output saying uh, success, it's going to be a boolean and change this to single, we can check this to true, okay, now we can also return the index that we found if we want to use it, uh, we can change this to index 
and uh, the last thing is um, if this is false we just want to skip this operation and not set the array element okay so if we don't find an empty position we don't set the item to the slot so compile save and now the last macro we're just going to duplicate this one and call it unbind and here we're going to break this link over here to the item and connect it over here so essentially uh, on the unbind we want to find first the item that we want to take off the slot and then we uh, remove the item from the slot we set the item to nothing okay that's basically it we can compile and save um, now uh, we need to um, first fill up the slots when this component starts okay so here we're going to create um, uh, actually yeah here on the event graph sorry on the begin play uh, we're going to grab the fill function that we created like this we're going to grab the slots connect to the array like this and the size will be five so uh, we will have five slots to uh, use in our game okay uh, now next thing we need to do is make sure that when uh, the player receives an item we are going to assign that into a slot okay so here we're going to create a new function called assign and here uh, what we're going to do is just call the bind function like this connect the slots to the array and the item will come from the inputs and this will actually be called id which is the item id that we want to bind to the slot okay uh, the reason i separated this into a uh, different function is so that uh, if you have more places to uh, move the item to like an inventory or a backpack this way you can control everything with inside this function and bind it to the specific place that you want now um, uh, here on the gif function what we're going to do is here when we receive a new item we want to assign it to a slot okay so we're going to expand this like this move it like this and here we're going to grab the assign function and connect it right here um, now the id will be the id that we receive from the function input so we can copy this one over here place it there and connect it like this um, that's uh, basically it now uh, what we're going to do now is make sure that our equip function is able to use the slot position to equip a specific item so over here we're going to go to the equip function we're going to select all of this the select this and move this all the way there yeah it should be okay now um, from here we're going to say equal and if this uh, equals to nothing we're going to use a slot value instead so here on the equip function we can add a new input and this will be called slot and this will be an integer okay so this way uh, we can specify an id if we want to equip a specific item or we can specify the slot position of the item that we want to equip so here we're going to say select we're going to connect this over there move this here okay now um, we're going to grab the slots array like this we're going to say get a copy okay and uh, from here we're going to say get slot from the function inputs this way uh, we'll be able to get um, the name of the item uh, the ID of the item that uh, we're trying to equip so here uh, we can connect this to the true which means if the id is empty we use the slot value <clears throat> if not we use the id okay now uh, we need to make sure that uh, this values also use uh, this one okay so here we're going to promote it into a local variable and call it current like this connect this over there this over there now here we can say get current like this and here we can also do the same thing and connect this like this okay <clears throat> now uh, here on the end <clears throat> we also need to make sure that we uh, replace this ID with the current variable okay like this 
and that's basically it so um i'm going to close this i'm going to go over here to the pistol I'm going to press alt and move this over there to duplicate and i'm going to select the rifle <clears throat> this way we have three items that we'll be able to equip <clears throat> now uh we're going to go to our character and make sure that our um number keys will uh be able to uh equip an item by slot so here let's go third person blueprints character <clears throat> let's go to the event graph and over here where we had uh, this key to equip uh, the cube, we're going to move this drop function a little bit. We're going to copy this like this and like that. Okay. Now this one, I'm going to change the key here to two. So number two. And here I'm going to change to three. So number three over here. Um, now the IDs, I'm going to set them all to nothing because we don't want to equip by ID and the slots, this one will be slot zero, which corresponds to the first slot. Okay. Uh, remember the arrays start at zero. This will be slot number one and this will be slot number two. So one, two and three. Okay. Uh, now if we compile and save and hit play. When I pick up this cube, the pistol, and the rifle, now if I press 1, I equip the cube. If I press 2, I equip the pistol. And if I press 3, I equip the rifle. And if I press 3 again, as you can see, I can equip and unequip like this. So um, that's basically it, guys. Uh, this is all for this episode. In the next ones, we're going to make uh, the widgets for the slots. So uh, I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something with it. And don't forget to subscribe.